Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. In 1924, the BBC launched its first radio news bulletin, but it wasn't until 1927 that the BBC launched its first regular radio service. The first official launch of the Radio Times was in September 1923. In January 1927, and by the Royal Charter by BBC was officially established. The BBC has a long and complicated history, especially when it comes to World War II. This meant that the BBC had to walk a fine line between being objective and serving the government's agenda. One such controversy was the decision to broadcast Lord Hoss Nazi propaganda speeches. Despite this, the BBC remained an important part of British life throughout the war and continues to be so today. The BBC's golden age is considered to be the 1950s and 1960s. This was a time when the BBC was at the forefront of British broadcasting. The BBC's output during this period was hugely influential and set the standard for other broadcasters to follow. The launch of Radio 1 in 1967 saw the BBC become a truly global broadcaster. The BBC is one of the most respected broadcasters in the world, but it has not always been easy sailing. This led to decline in moral and a lost public trust. The BBC was also criticized for its coverage of events such as the Falklands War and the Miners' Strike. The government also introduced policies that threatened the independence of the BBC, such as introducing advertising on Radio 1. The 1990s and 2000s were a time of change for the BBC. The broadcaster became more commercial launching several new channels and services. The BBC has a long and proud history of public service broadcasting, but in the 1990s, it faced increased competition from commercial broadcasters. It also began to make its content available online and on demand. Digital technology has transformed the way we consume media. Definition and function of BBC. BBC is the world's leading public service broadcaster BBC impartial and independent. Every day, BBC create distinctive world class program and content, which inform to educate and entertain millions of people in the UK and around the world. BBC digital services including BBC News, BBC Sports, BBC Weather, CBBS, iPlayer, BBC Sound, BBC Right Pattern, and BBC World Service. The first function of BBC is UK Public Services. BBC provides a wide range of programs, content, and services on television, radio, and online for audience across the UK. Global News Services BBC World Service, television, radio, and online is available in more than 40 languages. Alright. Now we are talking about the scope of BBC. Our mission is to act in the public interest, serving all audiences through the proportion of impartial, high quality and distinctive output and services which inform, educate and entertain. The Charter also sets out five public purposes. First, to provide impartial news and information to help people understand and engage with the world around them. The second, to support learning for people of all ages. The third, to show the most creative, highest quality and distinctive output and services. The first, to reflect, represent and serve the diverse communities of all the United Kingdom's nations and regions and in doing so, support the creative economy across the United Kingdom and the fifth or the last to reflect the United Kingdom, its culture and values to the world. Thank you. And now I'm going to tell you about who is the actor of the BBC. John Reid was the founder of the BBC. 
He was the first general manager when it was set up as the British Broadcasting Company in 1922. And he was the first director general when it became a public corporation in 1927. He created both the templates for public service broadcasting in Britain and for the arms length public corporation that were to follow, especially after World War II. Reid thought of politician attempts to influence the BBC while offering the British People program to educate, inform, and entertain. But in working life that stretch over 60 years, Reid was at the BBC only 16 years. And now in 2022, the executive committee is chaired by Tim Davy as a director general. The executive committee is responsible for delivering the BBC's services in, a, in accordance with the strategy agreed by the board and for all aspects of operational management. Now, BBC as a media funnel covers the way they report their domestic British news throughout the world. It's easy for them to spread the news worldwide due to their sub companies existing in several countries, for example, BBC Indonesia. In the current case, the BBC News just announced the death of the Queen. Her Majesty the Queen Elizabeth II has died at Balmoral, age 96, after reigning for 70 years. The BBC is one of the global media communication. The BBC globalizes, but it also remains local. Now, the production is not global, but local in origin. Now, in this case, the BBC or the British act as a sender. Now, meanwhile, the receiving countries is countries that consume the global media products based in other countries. Baldwin et al. 2014